Hey everyone, I'm Kelsey with iFixit, and today I'm gonna to show you how to replace the IO daughter board on your Samsung Galaxy S9 Plus. For this repair, you're going to need an eye opener, a suction handle, iFixit opening picks, a spudger, a Phillips 00 screwdriver, a SIM eject tool, and tweezers. We also recommend using a magnetic mat for this repair. It'll keep your screws organized and safe from rolling away. Start by making sure that your phone is off and use your eye opener to heat up the back panel to soften the adhesive and repeat if necessary. If the adhesive continues to give you a hard time, try using a heat gun or a hairdryer. Lay your suction cup on the phone as close to the heated edge as possible. Then use your pick to cut away the adhesive all around the edges. Once you have a portion of the panel separated, insert a pick to keep the adhesive from resealing. Work your pick around the phone, cutting all the adhesive, but be careful. Don't slide the pick in too far or else you might damage the fingerprint sensor. Once you have all the adhesive cut, lift the panel and disconnect the fingerprint sensor. On the mid-frame, you have 16 Phillips 00 screws that hold the NFC antenna, wireless charging coil, and the speaker. Once you've removed these screws and components, go ahead and disconnect the battery. Grab your SIM eject tool and remove the SIM card from the slot. To get the motherboard out, you'll need to disconnect six cables and remove one screw. Just like that, you can remove the motherboard. Going down towards the charging port, remove one screw and disconnect the cable holding the headphone jack in place. Use a pair of tweezers to lift it out. Remove the daughter board by unscrewing four Phillips screws. Use some tweezers to deroute the antenna cables. and then use a spudger to release the port from the phone. Start by loosening it on the side where the motherboard was and work your way towards the charging port. Once loose, it should come right out. That's all for this repair. Be sure to hit subscribe so you have our next repair videos in your back pocket for your next fix. I'll see you next time.